Welcome back guys to Golden Sun The Lost Stage, where after coming to Gaia Rock here in a bid to save the town of Azumo from the serpent and stop this sacrifice, we started climbing these walls and wondering where on earth are we going after getting a treasure chest that only contains a nut. My brain started ticking finally as to how to get across this way and pretty much what's being told us is right here what we need to do. Either a cyclone, or more like it, a whirlwind to maybe get this vine swinging and pass it proper. So first we'll try cyclone. No such luck. Please be right. Whirlwind costs a ton more. Right, there we go. We've got ourselves a swing. Phew. Okay, we got this done. And now that allows us to move that out the way a little bit. Which now is a bit funny because that means we now have to go all the way back down again. Joy! Alright then, down we go. Go me! Go! Alright then, so down here we go. And let's keep going around because that puzzle's now sorted and we now have a grasp of what we're doing around now here as we keep on climbing towards the summit. Get out of my way. And now we keep on climbing higher. We have an idea of what to do. It is amazing now. A few. It's that treasure chest that kind of blocked me from thinking, if you know what I mean. I thought, oh, maybe that's the way up instead. Alright, so we can go along, but we can also head down from here. So first of all, we'll head down and see exactly what that has to it. Alright, so all the way down brings us... Whereabouts, really? Well, to more fireworms, of course. Right, Jenna, you may as well cannon the other one. It doesn't really matter, does it? Shiba attacks that one. Jenna releases cannon. Either Felix or Piers finishes off the other one. Nicely done. And we are down. Gaining so much experience per battle here, it's quite ridiculous, actually. So we've reached the edge of the mountain, it seems. And we can get over that way if we need to. That way doesn't lead to anywhere. Okay, so what is this? In case we fall? Unless there's a hole in the wall, but no. No reveal says nothing. We'll use Whirlwind here. Get across again. I've got to press A to actually start swinging, have I? Okay, that makes more sense. Right, so we've came down from all the way up there to reach here. Oh, we can actually have gone further if we went the normal way. Well, that worked out then. Can't really complain about that. Ah, well, checking down first just to make sure there was no treasure chest actually made us get up higher. Are you some kind of evil traps? Well, in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dodge round and past you. If you're some kind of evil traps, that's what I'm going to do. But this one's got a rock there. Oh, it doesn't even do anything. Okay, what's actually going on here? They look like evil traps, but then they didn't spew anything at me. Confused. Help me. Ah! Sarcophagus! 103 weakness damage. I should use Echo. Really. I should use Echo and took him down. Maybe they could give me some kind of special item. I need special items. I need more weaponry. Okay, then. Nothing to do with you. Okay. How do we get that vine swinging? I don't think I can cast synergy on the wall after all. So up we go. Why is that path there so wide? Okay. I don't understand it, but there's lots of weird divergent paths here. I don't know, I'm just gonna keep, okay, not that way. We have to go this way. I'm going to stick to edges. I don't know about you, but... It just seems weird, that. But we're up. Is there something there on the ground, though? No. Is that a dig spot? Is that, like, some place for us to scoop? No, no reason. It just looked a bit indented, is all. Whoa! The monster's actually scared me there. For some reason, I've... Ex I'm expecting a trap, considering those blowing devices at the bottom. But it doesn't seem to be one here, so why am I really worried? It's just, meh. 
Round and round we go, where we stop. Well, we just climb up here. Just wondering, is there a way down? Because there was like trees and platforms that way, wasn't there? Anything underneath these flowers? I guess reveal can't reveal that much. But I think we've finally reached the summit, wherever we're going. Whoa, monsters. Why am I so jumpy? I do not understand. Cannot compute. Right then, a white. We can cannon down. Do you know what? Cycle beam, go! That was my cycle beam effect noise. It's kind of near ish. The right noise. Oh well. Cycle beam comes through, breaks them all down. The rest of the party takes on everyone else. 408 experience points. Lovely jubbly. Right then, so. Mazy maze. We've got ourselves a way down if we want to. But first of all, I'm wondering what's this way. So we can jump. Oh, oh wait a second. <laughs> we can jump over there if we use the maze correctly. Fireworms, billion. Same kind of attack setup I want to use again, really. Actually, you have to attack the white. You have to cycle beam them all. She would take out the middle one with the weakest attack damage. Well, weakest attack damage says the sarcophagus takes them down. Cycle beam, pow! Fireworm is only 98 HP, not 100 HP, as I was thinking. And down and out as Felix is now a level 22 gallant. Big, powerful synergy spells. Where are we headed? Where are we headed? Well, mazes keep going us around. Well, a treasure chest. We'll take ourselves an apple and we'll use it straight away. Right, well, apple is attack, isn't it? So to be honest, using it on Felix isn't really ever a bad idea. Not really. Strongest attack in the West. Though to be honest, I can't make it round this maze from this direction, so I have to move that middle platform. Thankfully, jumping over enabled me to get the apple, because if I moved it already, thinking, ooh, puzzle element, I'd have messed up. Simply put. Well, that works out anyway. We do over 100 damage with you. It's all good. 140 damage there. Power drive comes through. 148 damage. Farewell. Nice, busy, easy battle. And now we climb on down. So we're at the summit, but I don't see any serpent. So that in itself is somewhat interesting. Well, let's keep moving this down and out the way, or more to the point, as low as we can get it so we can jump over nicely. Nope. Where am I going? Should be a slidey down point there. Probably one I wouldn't see anyway, considering my previous puzzle slidey down things. Do you know what, Jenna? Just get the extra bonus experience. It's all good. It's like only a tiny bit, but you never know. We might get ourselves an item one day. Plus, we need to make back the coins again after buying lovely, lovely new items. Alright, so down and around we go. Where we stop is still the question. I do wonder if we can cyclone those. But now I've changed it to Whirlwind, it would require going to the Synergy menu, and I'm so lazy. Right, we found ourselves another altar. Okay. A long bit of travelling has been taken to get to here. He's sensing something. Well, I didn't. I don't have anything I can use on it. What are these then? Was I supposed to find something? I'm sensing something. Do you want me to use a synergy on it? Or reveal? Ah! Okay, that wasn't expected. Right then, I was like, you, you bring up the item menu. I was like, what, what, what item do you want me to use? There's a thing there, a dancing idol. What are you doing? Well, you're definitely sensing something at this rate, aren't you? I can't feel anything. Okay. We've got ourselves a dancing idol. Now what? <laughs> That's really the question, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Now what happens? Because we've just taken a one-way path all the way up. I guess we could retreat to get back down. We saw a little altar in the front door, after all, so we could try to move the dancing idol onto it. Or something along those lines. I don't want to retreat though, when I'm still up here, if you know what I mean. 
there's still some more to do. Oh well. Fortune favours the brave and all. We'll retreat and see if we can move this on. So the dancing idol has gone to you. A sacred idol of unknown power is its description. Right, so Felix checked the altar. It looks like something can be placed here. We now have what can be placed. We place the doll on the altar, which now has made evil eye things look at us and create pathways. Okay. Wherever these lead, we'll find out soon enough. Let's go through. Did the dancing idol draw me back again? Okay, so I must need to use this more than once. Overall. Well, this place is confusing. Well, and we got to use Cyclone once again. Right then, Mr. Guys. We've got Fire Woman. We know we can take out easily Mad Vermin and Wood Walker. So, one there. Cannon down that one. You two combine on that one. We'll all be good. Hopefully, you'll take him down without any issue whatsoever. No problemo. And the Wood Walker is a little bit more hardy. I'm guessing you're also fire, though. So yeah, let's just defend. We've hit it twice. Char should be able to take it out now, I'm guessing. If it's probably fire weak, considering it's a tree. No, it's just been stunned. Paralyzed and cannot move, but of course we don't have any more fire gin to try and get that weakness strike on. So, oh well, so tough because will work. And 502 experience gained, which makes Jenna a level 22 witch. Not a hex at the moment, of course. Not without those gin on, after all. We kind of need some more gin here. I say that, but this pathway leads to nothingness land. Which now makes me wonder if the other path is where we want to go first, then. Maybe it leads round, I don't know. Right then, attack, 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 attack. Just do as much damage as possible in the first round. Ultrasonic waves come out, deals 46 damage. How dare you? Dodge the blow of the next guy, though. Right then, an echo over here. Go for another standard attack there. Blitz. And that should be all she wrote. So I, oh no, I didn't want to attack you. Oops. Oh well. Well, Blitz worked. You went down. Echo will take you down because Felix is strong enough to just deal a ton of damage. Give me some lovely items. No, you say? Okay. Can you give me a break? I mean, I've been going around completely confused as to what to do. Randomly showed up with a dancing idol that actually legitimately scared me, and I feel kind of slightly ashamed for that. Especially when I claim to be able to read games so well, if you know what I mean. I wasn't expecting there to be a dancing ghost thing! Alright, let's go... Attack... Cannon, of course, take out that one. I guess they all weak to thingies. I guess the one of them's going to survive no matter what at this rate, so we'll try to take out the mad vermin. There's one down. Alright then. Defend. No defend. Another char here. Simple attack. Sarcophagus go. Send the fire down. Stunned yet again. No weakness strike it is. 574 experience gained. But no items. So much fire being sent down now. Where am I? Am, am I getting lost here? I think with all the attacks and all that going on, I've just kind of got a little bit confused about where I'm going. Uh, uh. <laughs> this is kind of weird, actually. Um, What's going on? Anyway, Cycle Beam will go in because I want to finish them off fast. There we go. Attack what we can. Sarcophagus takes a fair bit of damage. Cycle Beam will take two of them down. If I'm right in saying. And what I meant to do is get Piers on you, but it didn't seem to work out for me, did it? How dare you come across me with all those horrible abilities. Right, we're going to have to use an aura to heal up. But to be honest, I don't think you're surviving. Down you go. Right, we were going this way. Yes. Good? No? Where am I? Where am I? Have I just gone back? Or am I in... No, I'm in completely new locations. Good. Phew. I actually genuinely lost my way there. I don't know how, but it happened. So 
So in the meantime, obviously we're going to cast Cyclone here, and there's probably going to be a Cyclone Warp underneath me. Or not. Moving platforms above me. Right, that linked up the path then, but that means I have to go all the way back round on top of that. How dare you! Right, tack, 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 tack. Sarcophagus! 82 damage. There we go, big hit in. Hit, hit. Spire comes out, bang. And forcible arm takes 87 damage. You don't want to take that much, sir. Right, then echo down here. Of course, you just need to mainly defend, but to be honest, let's use another aura just to make sure everyone's nicely topped up. Blitz on you, and we're cool, surely. There we go, strong attack. Finish off the other one, done and done. Weakness strikes galore, only 266 experience points makes it seem not very worth it though. And to be honest, with the way things are, I just kind of want to cast retreat and get back, but I bet that, I bet that would reset the puzzles, wouldn't it? I bet that would, can't make it through that gap. But remember I'm going down, I'm going down. All right, white and a fiery worm, which means to be honest, I can just split it up, damage this way. Sarcophagus doesn't put the evil dead back inside. Cannon takes down the fireworm. And Power Drive will take down that one. 300 experience there, so it can't be that long until someone else levels up. Can it really? So we should have went to our right first, but now we're going to our left again, wherever this is leading us. No major peers. Work. We know now that you are that kind of weak. Then we can hit you with a cannon. Hit you with a big spell, because why not? Storm Ray. And go for the center. That didn't take you down. You've either got 98 or 97 ex HP. I'm, I'm, getting, I'm narrowing it down. Echo worked so well on that no mage. We took down the last one. 474 experience. Someone's got to level up again at this rate. Alright, round and round we go. Where we stop? Well, it's on to leafy pillory platforms, isn't it? That's where we know. Alright, you stop here? Cool. Let's go around this way. I guess we go down? Um, maybe not. I don't think I can jump between those, so am I going down first then? Probably, by the look of it. Up onto that one, and it's actually just switching over rather than jumping. But even that caused a battle up on leafy platforms up on high! Right then, sky battles. Let's take these guys down. Can all get that one. Acid Bath comes out, finishes that one. Mad Growth, ow, 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 ow. Attack that one, char on it to finish it off. Then defend. Farewell to you, Weakness Strike, 574 experience points, makes Sheba a level 22 mage, learns the mages resist. Learning tons of spells now, aren't you, madame? As we just transition over? make it to where we need to be with a nice little leap. So now where are we going? Onwards and onwards. Fireworm appears, times a billion of course. Let's just char these ones down I think personally. But to be honest I don't want to use experience. I mean the, the PP that Jenna has been using at this point in time. So let's go with another Storm Ray and I don't know if that'll finish off the center one. You did level up after all. It's 97 HP. It's exactly 97. We've sorted out how much HP a fireworm has. Now this is where someone actually like looks it up and goes, it's not 97, it's 96.5. I'll be like, well, okay then. I hate you. Yeah. We got ourselves an elixir from our battle there, so maybe that's what we get from the fireworm attacks, which means it's not exactly that worth it. Though we do know that one cannon equals one KO. Which is not bad. Okay, we've got ourselves another place for our dancing statuey idol. 
In the meantime, we've got ourselves a Dreadhound appearing as well, so let's get to work on you. What's your weakness? Is it water? If it is, I could apply, try to oblige, that's for sure. A fog here, sarcophagus comes through, it's not that. Cannon comes out, takes the firewind down. A strong attack from Felix, and then a fog hits. It does do the nice weakness damage. I'm right in saying they're one of the type of people you could get from the end of the game nice weaponry from. So we can head down towards the grass once again. Which will, by the look of it, and considering what's beaming down from above, do something involving light. Well, what is it? Well, we found our serpent finally, and it doesn't seem like he likes light. Which means there's four holes here. Place to put the dancing thing and probably travel forward to more light beaming, I guess. Is that what we were sent here to do in Guy Rock? Did anyone actually say this in the town? Like what was going on? Did we have anything to tell us what we were doing? Eh. All I can say there is tune in next time on Golden Sun because it seems we've got ourselves an objective. See you next time. Bye bye.